State County Board of Elections is in scramble mode. The board called an emergency meeting today to figure out what to do after a federal appeals court ruled the county commission and school board districts drawn by the Republican-led General Assembly were unconstitutional. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick joins us live with the latest, Bo. Sharon, board members met again today in closed session with their attorney. They're facing a new deadline from a federal judge who wants to hear from the Wake County Board of Elections one week from today. It's not our call. The state statute is very clear on whose responsibility this falls on. The responsibility of ensuring that Wake County citizens can vote for its county commissioners and school board members. A federal appeals court ruled the current district lines are unconstitutional. I know that the public, there's a lot of talk of reverting back to an old map, but we don't have the authority to do that. And I don't Others, others do. Others, meaning the State Board of Elections, the General Assembly, or a federal judge. In 2013, the General Assembly redrew the Wake School Board districts, and in 2015, the County Commissioner districts. Both would have had nine board members, including two regional districts. This map from the Wake County Board of Elections shows the two regional districts for County Commissioner. But now that the courts say those maps can't be used, the Wake County Board of Elections needs to tell the court what its next move will be. And time is important as absentee ballots start going in the mail in early September. The law is very clear about what we do and we're following the law. The Wake County Board of Elections will meet again on Wednesday night ahead at six o'clock. Why some say that this renews their calls for nonpartisan redistricting. Live in Raleigh, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina. All right, Bo, we'll see you a little later.